Folks, have you ever spent hours researching only to end up with scattered facts that don't really help you move forward? I mean, great, I know the market size, but that still doesn't translate into clear business decisions. I am Daniel and I have been dealing with this frustration across multiple research tools lately. Then I stumbled upon the platform called MGX that claims to handle things differently. In this video, we'll settle the question of who does deep research better. I'm taking MGX and putting it head-to-head -head against Gemini, OpenAI and Perplexity using the same complex challenge. By the end, you'll know which one actually delivers strategic intelligence versus just fancy summarization. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. Let's get into it. Okay, folks, before we run the actual comparison, let's talk about what MGX really is. Most platforms in this space act like a single assistant, you type a prompt, get a response, and maybe you refine it with follow-up questions. MGX takes a different approach. It works as a team of specialized agents that collaborate to handle complex requests step by step. Guys, instead of one general reply, it relies on several agents that collaborate. There's a strategist who frames the big picture and a researcher who digs through sources, a product manager who shapes requirements, and an engineer who builds a working prototype. Each role passes context to the next, so the outputs feel layered and closer to what an actual team would create. Guys, one of the biggest upgrades in the new MGX release is the deep research agent called Iris. It is designed to go beyond surface summaries and actually map out evidence, synthesize perspectives and connect raw data to actionable insights. Whether that means outlining market opportunities or highlighting risks, the goal is to give you research that supports decisions. So folks, when we bring MGX into this comparison, we are not just looking at another chatbot, we are testing a platform that positions itself as a small virtual team. That makes the side-by-side -side test with Gemini, OpenAI and Perplexity especially interesting. We'll get to see whether this multi-agent model really produces a noticeable difference in depth and usability. Guys, time to see who actually delivers. When it comes to deep research, I'm setting up the same challenge for all four platforms. The task is analyzing the latest trends in AI-powered market analysis, focusing on competitive intelligence, risk detection, and investment decision-making. Plus, we want emerging opportunities for 2026. As you can see, this isn't about surface-level summaries, and the task is quite complex. Let me start with Gemini. It has a deeper research mode that's set as the default. We paste in our prompt, and before it even starts pulling data, it shows us a plan. This plan is basically a roadmap of how the agent is about to tackle the task. We can edit it before proceeding, add an extra angle or delete something we don't need. Folks, once we approve, the research begins. A new page opens and Gemini literally shows us its thought process. It browses websites in real time and we can see which ones are being visited. This creates a sense of transparency. We are not just waiting for a black box answer, we see the path. Guys, the process is fairly quick and soon enough we get a report. The report itself includes multiple sections, tables and bullet points, and we can go even further. Gemini lets us turn this report into a web page. So after a short wait, we're looking at an interactive page with charts, expandable blocks and links. Each button is clickable, folks, and every chart can be explored. It's possible to view or edit the underlying code if you want to customize it. Overall, Gemini delivered solid market analysis with a good visual presentation. It is comprehensive and well-sourced. You get good coverage of emerging technologies like federated learning. But its dense academic style may be less accessible for business decision makers, and it heavily focuses on technical aspects over strategic insights. Folks, next up is OpenAI. We drop the same prompt, and the model quickly generates a result. Here, the experience is faster, but also more compact. What we get is a summary report, short sections, references to sources, and a nice overview of emerging opportunities. Surprisingly, it even includes a practical roadmap, some steps you could theoretically act on. But compared to Gemini guys, there's much less volume. It's like OpenAI is giving us the executive briefing version. It's useful if you want a fast orientation, but if you're after deep, detailed research with lots of evidence, it might feel too light. The upside is simplicity. No waiting, no extra clicks, no additional setup. Just type your query and get a sharp overview. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. 
and in return please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Now let's try perplexity. It tells us upfront, our task is going to take a few minutes. Folks, if we're in a rush, we can skip some steps. We can even close the tab and the platform will notify us once the task is done, which is quite convenient. While it works, we can follow the stages. Once the process is complete, we get a detailed report. And what immediately stands out is the number of sources. Guys, Perplexity lists a huge range of references, far more than Gemini or OpenAI gave us. The output itself includes a clear summary, a breakdown of opportunities and risks, and even some recommendations. Content-wise, it covers similar ground to the others, but with stronger backing. However, it still doesn't break new ground in terms of actionable insights, more like a very well-documented literature review. And now, my friends, to our final challenger, MGX. From the very start, the platform feels different. On the home page, we don't just see one agent waiting for instructions. We see a whole team of agents, each with a role. Folks, you can find here whoever you need, from the team lead to the data analyst and engineer. And even more roles are coming soon. Already this feels like stepping into a mini-organization, rather than using a single chatbot. For our test, we enable the deep research mode. Guys, right away MGX suggests possible prompts that I can use as inspiration to see what tasks it handles. We enter our prompt, and Iris, the lead researcher, begins. Just like with Gemini, the agent first drafts a plan, we review it, and it's quite detailed. Multiple steps, clear directions. Once we confirm, the team springs into action. Folks, you can see the working process step by step. It's also convenient to watch the agent's screen showing how summaries are being created. These steps immediately take us to the final result. A PDF file you can conveniently download without needing any conversion. It's possible to review different sections separately if you are interested in specific topics. Folks, let's look at the complete document. This really feels like genuine deep research, a massive amount of information, beautifully formatted with convenient tables and different points and strategies. Of all the platforms so far, MGX gave us the most detailed and deepest analysis. There are emerging opportunities sections, recommendations, and references, all very well formatted. The agent immediately offers to create a website or PowerPoint from this report. Now let me show you how it handles website creation, guys. Now it's time for Alex the engineer to get to work. He's launching the work in process, and we can see in real time how he's writing code and creating different files. This shows the depth and professionalism of this platform's approach. Folks, when the report is complete, we have two options for what to do next. But first, we should see what kind of website we got. Each button here is clickable and takes us to the needed section. The site feels genuinely professional and convenient to navigate. Guys, compared to the result created with Gemini, there seems to be even more information here. We don't just have simple charts and graphics, we have key points with very convenient design choices. I'll choose to fix and enhance the interactive elements. The agent starts working again and corrects everything that was unfinished. The output is ready, folks, everything's complete, and the site has improved with more interactive features. It really feels quite entertaining. Now I can request sentiment analysis and ask to convert this into a concise risk opportunity briefing for decision makers. The team leader Mike starts working on a plan. It gets developed very smoothly and systematically. Folks, here's the executive summary with different details, very well formatted. We can see critical risk alerts and strategic opportunities with immediate action required suggestions. There are various numbers and analysis with different indicators. Agents also developed a strategic risk opportunity matrix for us, where we can see specific problems and suggestions how to solve them. Guys, there are key opportunities, dashboards with trending indicators, and finally we have an executive KPI dashboard. This page is marked as live data, which means we can refresh it whenever we want for real-time updates. This is very convenient since it's not necessary to constantly input new information manually. The depth is remarkable, folks. The multi-agent collaboration actually delivers different perspectives. And most importantly, everything is immediately actionable. Guys, after putting these four platforms through the same research challenge, I can say Gemini, OpenAI, and Perplexity all delivered solid research. The information quality is high, and honestly, any of them would serve you well for general research tasks 
But when it comes to that deeper strategic intelligence, MGX's multi-agent approach really does deliver something different. Instead of one model's perspective, you're getting collaborative analysis from specialized agents that each contribute their expertise. So if you are curious about how AI research can evolve into decision-ready insights and interactive outputs, MGX is definitely worth trying out. What kind of challenges are you folks tackling where you actually need strategic guidance? Share your thoughts in the comments. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.